Okay, hey all. Um, just putting a quick tutorial together on how to do connect and projector calibration. Now, if you go to kimchinchips.com forward slash files forward slash vvvv, then it's got um, some files here which basically let you do this example. And the bottom one says, well, the one I've got here is vvv sdk elliot.zip, and that's my version of v4 with all of my plugins in it that I'm currently using. And here is connect plus projector.v4p. And I might also put in here um, my versions of OpenNI that I'm using, so then they're easy for reference. So basically download these two, and then you will um you'll have a folder which looks a bit like like um, this one from the uh, the big zip, and in there you want to run crack.exe and this application lets you see whether or not v4 is happy to run and if any of these are red you should uh, download things it asks for and basically yeah you just play along and if anything's wrong then check the vv.org this isn't really a tutorial on how to run v4 it's just something that you need to be able to do okay so once you've installed open and i i recommend getting the developer version you want to um, install also the sensor connect driver if you are using a connect rather than a prime sense device and you um, the easy way to check it if everything's working is to run NI Viewer. So I always do this before trying to run any example because if anything's wrong with the connect, really just check NI Viewer first before before thinking that it's something wrong with V4 or, or with your patch. Always if, just check this one first. And if this is this isn't working, then either you've not plugged it incorrectly, maybe the power's not right, or usually it's a driver issue. Okay, right. So now that's all working we're going to run our v4p file and that's in my downloads folder I just downloaded that now and it's connects plus projector dot v4p so if you just run that um, you'll get these these two windows here and this one is your world window and this one's what's coming out from your projector I'm just going to do a few key commands here so if you hold down uh, p oh, I'm just going to plug my mouse in You, if you put your cursor over this window and hold down P and then drag with the right mouse button, that'll pull your camera in. If you hold down O and then drag with the left mouse button, that'll orbit around. And hold down Z and drag with the left mouse button, that'll move the camera around. And you see here you've got this like 3D view, which is what your Kinect is looking at. Okay, and then this one is what we're going to put out of our projector. So I'm just going to drag this over to the right, which is where my projector is. And then once it's there, I press Alt and Enter and that puts it full screen on my projector. Okay, so then the next step is we're going to scroll down in this patch. So we can use the scroll wheel or we can hold down on the background with the right mouse button and drag. And right down the bottom is Calibrate. And just turn on Calibrate. Okay. Okay, so um, I just keep on running out of um, space on my camera, so I'm just going to keep on doing this in separate little stints. So I'm just going to resize this so it's a bit bigger and easier to see. And I'm going to put an object in front of the connecting projector. If I just pan around here, you can see here um, I've got my projector and my connect, and they're roughly in, in, a, in a similar position. And the, the idea is that the closer these are to each other, then the less likely you are to have shadows, because um, you're going to have shadows anyway from the projector, and then you'll also get shadows from the project from the connect. So if you can make them as close together as possible, then the the shadows should be, um, uh, th then you'll get the least amount of shadows. All right, so at this point, what we need to do is, um, it's going to bring this little patch over here. So continuing, uh, we've got this world view here, and we've got our patch here, and then coming out on the projector off the off the screen is the uh, is the chessboard. Now, what we need to do um, here is we just need to be ready to enter data points into the system. So um, you can scroll around in the patch by put your cursor over an empty part of the patch, hold down the right mouse button and drag. Okay, and then if we uh, drag it around to the top left, we've got here, we've got these uh, different views of the world, sorry, of the Connect data. And then here in the middle, it's got some stuff for data storage. Here it's got some stuff for camera calibration. And here is like the projector output. And here is where we switched on uh, the calibration mode. Now if we scroll back up here, um, in the data section, there's something here that says insert. 
Now I'm just going to make this really big so it's really easy to hit whilst I'm in a precarious position later on. Um, in fact, I'm going to make it so big that it's impossible for it to not hit. Okay, right, that's handy. What we want to do is find out for every 3D position which ray from the projector is going to be used to, to hit that 3D position. And this, this is where the, the fundamental of the connect project calibration happens. The connect creates a 3D mesh, and for each one of those 3D positions, we want to know which 2D position on the projector's image plane corresponds to that 3D position. So the way to um, calibrate the system is to train it on lots of known information. So in this instance, because we've got these corners, we can find one of these corners in the connect's image then know where it is in 3D. Also, simultaneously, we already know where it is in the 2D in the projector because that's that's uh, constant. And then we can record record each one of these found corners into a table and, and apply a calibration on it, which then will tell us in future for any 3D position in space where it will be within the projector's image. Okay, now so um, you'll see what happens basically when I when I hold up a sheet in front of the the connect in the projector, which um, which allows the chessboard to be seen uh, as a chessboard, then the the connect will recognize the image. So here I can just use a towel or anything. You know, it doesn't need to be flat because these three D points they're always you know they're three points anyway. We're not thinking about this as being a plane. We're thinking about it as each individual point. Right, so when you get like an image like that, we want to insert that as a data set, uh, sorry, as a as data points. So I'm just going to get my cursor over this insert, and I'm just going to hold this in my left hand, and wish that I had someone to help me, but I don't. And they could, like I said, there could be some kind of automated system for this as well, and that's usually a good way about of, of trying to do this. So there you go. Right, I've got one data set, two. Just gonna do a third. Right, and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move the camera around. Okay, so um, I didn't take very much data there. You know, the actual routine took like maybe 10 seconds or something. If I scroll around, uh, then um, I can see here it says I've got 144 data points. This is underneath this count here. But if I hit do on calibrate camera, right click on it, and success comes out the bottom, it tells me it's calibrated. And what I can do now is I can just turn off the calibration mode and instantly um, going over to my scene, I've got um, connect data coming out of the projector. So um, at the moment, like it's basically choosing what comes out of this mesh like near the top of the patch. Ooh. Let me just bring this in. Must be a better way of doing this. Um, right, so uh, there is a um, there's a node here. Oh, where is it? Oh, yeah, called View World here. And if you connect that RGB to underneath where it says Edge, then you'll um, you'll be projecting edges. So now it's projecting the edges of objects in the world. And obviously, there's some extra edges where um, the connect is seeing a shadow. Um, so this is just demonstrating some like basic, basic connect projector techniques. Okay, so um, there's obviously a lot more you can further you can go with this. And I just really want to make a simple example for people to see how the um, the calibration of spaces works. Um, if you do want to get this data out. Then right down at the bottom of the patch, let's get this in focus again, roughly. Right down at the bottom of the patch, uh, well near there, it says calibrate camera. Coming out here is two matrices, uh, where it says view per board and perspective, um, sorry, projection, then goes through a node called perspective. And if you make a node called get matrix, and you connect the input from the output of perspective, and then you left click on the output of get matrix and then you middle click somewhere it will give you a little box with that matrix and you can do the same thing for the view matrix so the two matrices are the view and projection 
and you apply those in OpenGL or DirectX, then it will give you the uh, conversion between uh, connect 3D points and project uh, 2D points. All right, bye-bye.